Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss to you the whole process how to buy P2P transaction cryptocurrency in Dubai, UAE. Alright, go to your dashboard and click P2P trading and make sure that you click USTD as your currency because as I said in my previous video, how to open Binance account in UAE, USDT is the most stable coin. So there are different fiat currency that you can choose whichever you want. Example, this PHP. So, um, but now in this ex example, since I'm in Dubai, so I I'm going to use AED Fiat currency. And next to the advertiser name will be the price. As you can observe, there are different prices that they are offering. And corresponds to that prices, check the available and the limit of the seller. Make sure that it will be enough to your order and it will fit according to the limit of the seller. And be mindful of the prices that they are offering if it is really competitive and fair enough to the current value of USDT. And of course, next to limit and available USDT is the payment option of the seller. So different seller, different requirements of payment option the other is only cash deposit through bank and the other is only bank transfer and the other of course is both bank transfer and cash deposit all right so i'm going to buy 100 aed and it's going to be 26 and 80 cents worth usdt Okay, let's buy USDT and we'll see what is the seller instruction. So the payment details should be deposited in United Arab Bank. But there's also a WhatsApp number that uh, he put in the description. So, but then you can also chat it on the platform and make sure also that the payment to be made will be within 30 minutes period of time. And of course, if you already deposited the money to the seller, just click transfer next and uh, then the seller will going to reconfirm if he already received the, the amount she deposited. Okay, since the seller already accepted that he already received the payment, then your order will be credited into your account. Alright guys, so stay tuned. In a few seconds, I'm going to show you the full conversation through WhatsApp between me and the seller. So don't skip because you will go into learn a lot of things about it.
Okay guys, so as you can see, I manually put the sweep code, but it's been a couple of minutes. I'm trying to search the sweep code that I enter, but it doesn't work. Um, so what I did was just click the back button and in this page, there is a select bank. Then I just click on that and this we're going to pop up all the bank list will pop up in this section so i'm showing you all the mistakes that i made during this transaction so that you will learn from my mistake and you will not do it again but of course it's case to case basis it depends on the situation and definitely watch this video till the end so that you will not miss out any information at all and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be updated all the time i uploaded new videos about cryptocurrency signals and investment in dubai so guys this is another mistake i made i put in the reference usdt which i shouldn't do that because it gives hints or like idea to the bank that i'm doing transaction using cryptocurrency or digital asset all right let's go back to the whatsapp conversation so as you can see i already sent to the seller the screenshot that it was successfully transferred to the account but then since we have different uh, bank so it shouldn't be credited as soon as possible but the seller is really kind enough that he already accepted or confirmed to binance that he already received the payment even though it wasn't yet credited into his account furthermore i strongly advise to check the attention and the tips so that you will have a smooth transaction in my previous transaction i haven't re read those things so that's why i committed a mistake that like i put as a reference usdt so make sure that you will go through with these details all right let's go to my dashboard still the state is to be released after a couple of minutes i reconfirm to the seller that i already deposited the money the seller was so responsive so he confirm already the payment click a click overview and all the way down click funding all right so there you go and the amount was already credited into my account all right guys so if you have any questions or clarifications please let me know in the comment section below definitely i will going to give my time and best of my ability to answer those questions thank you and see you in the next one